Uh, however, we just really want to thank you and the department and the leadership from our legislators for finally saying we're going to mark, we're going to label, we're going to have an education messaging with the edibles. There are over 300 of these products that are showing everywhere, and people cannot tell the difference. And I would think that the medical and the recreational community that is selling it commercially would want people to know if it's a legal product. If it can't be marked, how can it be regulated? And I feel like it's time we need to step up. The industry is way ahead on this. And it's time we have a tool that we can let people really know that there's pot in something and that there are risks associated with that. And we have yet to do that as a state. And I really appreciate, the rec we totally appreciate the recommendations you've made, including the no longer, you know, remanufactured products, which is where, you know, you, you had uh, licensees going in and purchasing, you know, products from Costco and spraying it with high THC and then repackaging it and selling it. That's very confusing. It can be accepted. We also really appreciate encouraging the single size. And I think after seeing that study, we need to stop and think about what should be a single serving of edibles. Looks a little bit different after we've had that that um, you know the study that we saw, and also really think about the whole potency issue and how we educate people on potency. I know a lot of people in the industry have really shared concern that people know what they're getting and what the impacts are, and I think we could use this opportunity of the marking, the labeling, you know to get those messages across so that people know, okay, what does it mean to, you know, uh, eat 100 milligrams of THC? I mean, people don't know. Very few people even know what THC is, and it's time we start educating. Okay, so now we're going to 